And this is a, a great example of something we uh, thankfully rarely see anymore. It does have a, looks like a fat tissue with some erotic septae. Yep. But the real thing is this, something like, not really like the fat because they are perfectly round. It looks like maybe mixed with this granuloma, yeah. reactive changes. So it could be something in plants and like now this falling material. Yeah. Some refractile. Yes. Kind of. Yeah, it's hard to see on a digital slide. Is be this is better with glass because you can flip the condenser to see this totally clear stuff has like a three dimensionality to it. It's like, it's something that's actually there that's sticking up a little bit from the tissue and is totally clear. So this is not an air bubble. This is actually stuff that's there in the sample, like you pointed out. So what is this then, Lipe? The silicone. Yeah, this is a silicone granuloma. So the reason I think that we don't see it as much anymore is because the silicone breast implants that have been used uh, have changed a lot over time. And the newer ones, there are sil there's both silicone and saline filled, right? But the silicone ones now have, uh, the silicone is like somehow more held together as like a mass. It's like, a, like even I've seen videos where they cut into it and it can like bulge out, but it doesn't like leak out. It's not like liquid silicone. It's like a gelatinous, like, you know, jiggly solid mass, even if the capsule was cut. So the point is, is that even if an implant ruptures, because implants do have a lifespan to them, is my understanding, even if it ruptures, the silicone is not likely to leak to any significant extent. But in the past, in, a more, in earlier implants, if an implant ruptured, the silicone leaked out and it caused extensive, really robust granulomatous response, which is basically what we got is just this extensive foreign body granuloma. But because the silicone is clear and because some of it kind of leaks out as we process the tissue, it gives you the impression of fat necrosis. There also is actual fat necrosis here, but these big, huge round spaces, they're like, I guess they could be like a totally like cystic area of lipid, but they basically look like giant fat cells, way, way too big to be individual fat cells, right? And then the key is looking closer and seeing the clear refractile kind of plate-like. It reminds me of like shards of, of glass or like glass looks different than just microscopically actually, but it, it makes me think of like bits of like clear plastic or plexiglass or something. I don't know what works for you, but but I, I, the few times I saw this when I was in training, mostly, uh, that's what it made me think of these. Like, so I, anytime I see this pattern of, of big cystic clear spaces in a uh, foreign body granuloma, I go looking for clear stuff and also polarize. My recollection is that silicone will not actually polarize. Uh, silicone, silica, I think can, uh, like silicate, like sand type material, but, but the silicone used for implants, I don't think polarizes, but, uh, you can look and see that it's refractile and multinucleated foreign body giant cells often with bubbly little vacuoles. And if you look around, you will find usually if you want to look and see good, um, asteroid bodies, uh, the best time to see asteroid bodies is not in sarcoidosis, despite the, the teaching that everyone gets in med school. The best sarcoid, bo I mean, uh, asteroid bodies I see are actually in the setting of uh, foreign body granulomas. Uh, that's not a very good one, but uh, you can look. I, I saw one in here yesterday, but I can't remember where it was on the slide. But uh, these, this is the, the prime hunting grounds for asteroid bodies uh, is foreign body granulomas. I don't think I've ever actually seen a real case of sarcoid that had an asteroid body. Then again, I see foreign body granulomas is like a hundred or maybe a thousand times more often than I see real bona fide uh, sarcoidosis. Is that, I promise that's a little astro body. She's not very good to see on this scan. But anyway, just so you know, astro bodies, I've got some pictures and uh, or a video about that online. You can watch if you want to see a real perfect one. Last case, 15.